So the question says that the area of a circle is 113.04 centimeters squared, and we need to find the radius. So always start with writing your formula, and if you want to write it here, area of a circle is equal to pi times r squared. Now in this case, we need to find the radius. In our formula of a circle, we have two variables that are unknown. We have an a, which represents the area, and then we have an r, which represents the radius. And just for this example, I'm going to use 3.14 for pi, okay? So we'll say that pi is equal to 3.14, okay? So this time we need to work backwards. Because we're actually given the area in this question, we're going to replace our variable a with the value of it. So area is 113.04, which means that 113.04 is equal to 3.14 times r squared, okay? <clears throat> now what do you think you're going to need to do? We're trying to isolate our variable. We're trying to figure out what r is equal to. That's our goal, right? This is just isolating variables. We've done this before. So we want to undo any operations that are around our variable. So on the right side of the equation, we have 3.14 multiplied by r squared. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. Good. So what are we going to divide by? Divide by 3.14. Good. We're going to divide the right side by 3.14, so that will reduce to 1. And what do we have to do to the left side? Divide by 3.14. Good. So let's do that. 113.04 divided by 3.14. And if you want to um, divide by pi. So 113.04 divided by 3.14 is equal to 36, which means that 36 is equal to r squared, but I need to know what r is equal to. So again, opposite operations. What's the opposite of squaring a number? Do you remember? Rooting a number? Yeah, square root. Because the square root of r squared is r, right? r times r is r squared. So then we're going to, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So I'm going to do the square root of 36. And what times what is 36? 6. 6. So the radius would be equal to 6 centimeters.